All right, let's jump right in and learn about Ham Radio Deluxe. Now, you can get a free 30-day trial, so you can try this out if you like and see what you think. I did set up my radio to interact with my computer right here on Ham Radio Deluxe, so I can control all the buttons I can on my radio right here from my computer screen. Everything from filters and modes, obviously, different antennas, things like that. I can control all that right here from my computer. I can still control it from my radio as well, but uh, from the radio here, uh, from the computer is nice. We'll set it up for CW and let's pull up Digital Master. Now this is a cool tool. Now let me get the radio set up here on the left hand side so we can uh, control the radio right here from Digital Master. And there is the radio and all the different things I can control here. It's more of a condensed version. And as you can see, all the signals down there in the waterfall, if I click on any one of those signals, my radio will go right to it. And you should start to hear some CW come through. And it, if you can see, it's starting to decode up there uh, on the right-hand side of the computer there. Uh, it's very handy for those of you just starting out with CW. Uh, help you get your confidence up and maybe help you to get your speed up uh, with the decoding tool. Now in the middle here, you can see all the different macros. You can set all that up for sending CW. So that's very handy as well. So let's go ahead and get out of this and let's bring up Logbook. I'm going to show you how the Logbook works here on HRD. Now when you open it up, first thing you're going to want to do is create a database. And I'm going to show you real quick how to do that. Just click on that, File, and create a database. Click Create. And we're going to call it NV9L. And I'm going to be importing all my logs. And hit OK. Now double click that one, hit OK. And now we're in the NV9L logbook and we're going to go ahead and import an ADIF file. And I'm going to go grab my file of all. It's really not all. I don't have my June VHF contest from this last weekend in there or last weekend. And it's going to get it ready for upload and then I just need to save it. And that's going to save. Could take a little while here because I have 30,000 of them <laughs> in just four short years. But I wanted to give you the ability to see countries worked and things like that. All right, and that's done. And now let's go look at the log. It should populate here any second. And there you go. There's my log book. And you can just set this up to view it however you want. You can add and take fields away and uh, make the view whatever you want. I like to see if I've got my LOTW confirmation. So we can go and slide that over there. Uh, look at my QSL confirmations because I do get a lot of cards. And I want to see if I sent them uh, cards for QSLs when I sent them. So if I don't have a card yet back from them, I can track that here as well and see who I've sent cards to. Um, yet I haven't received them yet. It'll show the dates I sent them, things like that. So that's really handy. You can spread it out. Bring it, I can make this full screen too if I like. If you look real hard, you might even notice your own call signs in there because there's some of the stations I worked for the special event station. Now let's go ahead and click the awards tab and it's going to populate all the countries I have, the countries I've worked, confirmed on all the different modes and bands. So it does really good awards tracking. And you can see here on the left all the different awards you can uh, look and track. I'm also going to show you, let's close this, and I'm going to show you all the different views you can add to this screen as well. Um, uh, you can change your gray line map. If you don't like that one, you can do different gray line maps. You can, let me show, change that. And we got the little globe. And I can also add the solar propagation cycle, 
all kinds of different things you can add here. You can see that there's so many handy things you can bring up on your screen and you can just set your view up however you want to see it. Okay, we can go ahead and go up and let's open up the cluster and get that all set up. We'll pick a spotting network, hit OK, and it should show up there at the bottom. And once that shows up, I can hit connect, get connected, and you'll start to see all the spots show up. Okay, and when those cluster spots appear, those first four, four columns are going to show you if uh, these stations are the first, if you need them as a country, uh, for, if you need them for your new band, uh, mode, or even if it's the first time working that station. Also, you can uh, display this however you want. There's different drop downs here. You can do filters. Uh, you can set up uh, alarm, uh, work on different uh, alarm manager. Uh, where you can set up uh, emails uh, if for certain spots or countries that you need. It'll send you the emails. You can even set up the voice activation so the computer will talk to you when there's a station you need. And that's the basics for Ham Radio Deluxe. Now there is a fee for this software. It's $99 for your first year and it goes down after that. Uh, but as you can see, it's very easy to use and you will have uh, great support available to you with that $99 fee.